memorandum revaluation account we said what is this what is the difference between revaluation memorandum revaluation memorandum revaluation has two sections the first section the top half is exactly the same as entries are passed exactly like that we do in case of revaluation in the second half however all the above entries are reversed therefore as a result of the revaluation account or method revaluation there is a change in the assets and liabilities that we revalue but in case of a memorandum revaluation account there will be no change in the value of the assets and liabilities there will be no change in the assets and liabilities shown in the balance sheet though they have been revalued only the net effect is reflected through the capital accounts so let us check this appears to be the same problem a retires b and c continue but new ratio now 3 is to 2 what is the revaluation land and building increase by 5 lakh provision for doubtful debts 10000 liability of 10000 for outstanding wages so if one entry for increase memorandum revaluation account debt sorry land and building account debit to memorandum revaluation is 5 lakh to memorandum revaluation this is 5 lakh then we have provision for doubtful debt so that's memorandum revaluation account debit to provision for doubtful debts and to outstanding wages to outstanding wages how much are these these are 10000 and 10000 therefore memorandum revaluation debited by 20000 whereas land and building appreciation is by 5 lakh as a result of this we get a profit we get a profit of 4 lakh 80 which is given to the old partners in the old profit sharing ratio that is equal so it becomes memorandum revaluation account debit 4 lakh 80 so it's closed to a to b to c 160 160 and 160 this is more or less the same entries that we passed in the revaluation account now you have the second half where the above entry will be reversed because we do not want to reflect the change in the value of assets we do not want to show the revalued figures of assets and liabilities so memorandum revaluation account debit to land and building we are just reversing what is there on top similarly outstanding wages outstanding wages account outstanding wages account debit 10 provision for doubtful debts account debit 10002 memorandum revaluation account 20 therefore now we get a loss because memorandum revaluation has been debited by 500 and credited by 20 therefore this will now go a as retired go to the accounts of the remaining partners b capital account debit C is capital account debit to memorandum revaluation account. This is what new ratio of three is to two. Three is to two. This amount here is four lakh eighty. Four lakh eighty. So we get four lakh eighty in the new ratio. Three is to two. Divided by six into two eighty eight and C would be equal to equal to one ninety two. With this, we see land and building value is offset. Prof provision for doubtful debts, outstanding wages. 
all closed, we only have the net effect in B and C's account and A has already left. Let us see a neater presentation of this. Land and building to memorandum, memorandum revaluation to provision for doubtful debts and outstanding wages, memorandum revaluation to A, B and C, this is in the old ratio. Then we reverse the above entry, all the entries, memorandum revaluation to land and building, provision for doubtful debts and outstanding wages to memorandum revaluation and B's capital, C's capital to memorandum real revaluation account. This is new profit sharing ratio, new profit sharing ratio. Mind you, what is the net effect of these entries? If you see, the net effect of this entry is that A is retiring, A's capital is credited. So, to A, we get with A's share of the profit, 4 lakh 80 into A's share, one third, you get 1 lakh 60. And what is debited? B's capital and C's capital account is debited. In what ratio? In the gaining ratio. What is the gaining ratio? Partner's share was one third and one third. This is B and C, one third, one third. It has become three fifth and two fifth. What was the gain? We did this once before 15. 3 by 5 minus 1 by 3. So that is 9 minus 5. And again we have 15. 15 divided by 5 is 2. That's 4. No, 3 twos are, it's 6 actually. Four by fifteen, one by fifteen, and the gaining ratio is four is to one. One lakh sixty divided by five, we get thirty-two. Therefore, thirty-two thousand and B four one twenty-eight thousand. This is the net. B's capital account has been debited with 280 and it has been credited with 160. The difference is 128,000. Similarly, here C's capital account has been debited with 192,000 and credited with 160,000. Therefore, C's capital account debit 32,000. This is the net effect of the entries of the memorandum revaluation re account. As we had discussed in admission, the third method actually involves this particular entry only.